What's good, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you my new thumb throttle I got, and we're going to install this wireless turn signal kit on the back seat. That's coming up next on Criss Cross. Okay, so uh, shout out to uh, David Boland from the Electric XP Owners Group on Facebook. He hooked me up with these uh, 3D printed thumb throttles that uh, he made. Uh, 24 bucks for the two of them shipped to me and uh, appreciate the uh, quick turnaround, David. Here's what it looks like. Here's the other one I got. Um, so basically just slips over the uh, grips. You just undo the screw there and uh, throw it on. Push it all the way towards the right, and now you got yourself a nice thumb throttle without having to take off the actual uh, twist throttle. So, uh, you know, it's not the perfect solution because it does move a little bit, but um, uh, much easier on your wrist. And so, uh, yeah, look him up on Facebook. David Boland is his name, and he's in the Electric, electric XP Owners Group on there. So, uh, Shout out to you, David. Thanks for the uh, great looking thumb throttle. All right, so this is the Mylon wireless remote control turning laser light. It's got turn signals. Comes with this uh, remote control uh, pad you put on your handlebars. Here's the back of the box. There's the uh, control pad. It's got lasers on it that work at night. So hopefully I'll show you those. That's what it looks like. Um, 2,000 milliamp hours. Not sure how long that lasts, but I guess we'll find out. So the lights on here, they flash like uh, hazards. They do left and right turn signals. Um, and uh, the power button's on the side of the, uh, the, the lights here. All right, let's get into this. All right, so I finally figured out how to install this thing. So this has a little uh, slider on the back. And when you put this onto the saddle, it slides into this way. So it just slides in there. So we're gonna put this under the saddle and then hopefully connect the two and we should be good to go. <clears throat> well, I discovered that I need to uh, attach the uh, turn signal before I put this piece on because otherwise I can't get it in. Um, there's just not enough angle here to do that. So I'm going to take it off. Before I do that, I want to show you the uh, lasers. So this has got a side lasers. And uh, at night these are supposed to put lines on each side of your bike. Um, and so we'll check that out. Here's the USB connector to charge it. Here's what it looks like. And uh, let, me, let me fix this uh, connection and I'll get back to you. All right, I've got the uh, pieces in there. Now it's just a matter of tightening these up and hopefully we're done. Okay, it's in there. Um, definitely not the easiest to install, but uh, once I figured it out, um, pretty easy. So you can see the pieces in there. There's the top plastic piece. Here's the bottom one. And it just slides into that. So put it on first, slide it into the piece first, and then attach the top one when you're doing this. All right, I just put the um, controller on. So it just snaps into place with this little rubber band. And you can adjust it to where you want. So left turn signal, right turn signal. All right, it comes with these rubber grips and you put these around the handlebar and then you strap on the uh, remote control. That way it's not gonna move on you uh, when you do uh, position it to where you want it. So this thing's not going anywhere, as you can see. One other thing to note is that the power button is right here. 
it's not on the remote uh, it's on the side of the uh, the uh, light here uh, very hard to tell but there it is uh, just one other note um, this is the piece to install it on your seat post um, if you want to put it on the seat post as well so it just slides right in here in the uh, in this piece and this is a much easier install if you just put it on the seat post but I have the uh, uh, the bag on the back of my rack so I need to put it up higher that's why I put it underneath the seat uh, in this install so uh, but you can put it on the seat post a little bit lower as long as your back area is not uh, you know blocked with uh, a basket or a bag or something so keep that in mind Now let's turn these lights on. There we go. Got a left turn signal. Right turn signal. And uh, hazards. Lasers. There's the hazards. Lasers are on. You can see those down there. Now the laser over here is partially blocked by the bag, but you get the idea.